Hello, this is Brian. Thank you for calling Aquascape. Can I help you? No, I didn't order peppers on that. I ordered extra ham and anchovies, extra small pizza to go. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have pizza? You got calzones? How about those Italian paninis? Huh? Where are you going? Oh, I can't wait till I get a word with you. Mm-hmm. The roof is going up. Mm -hmm. This was so smart to paint these before we got them up there because it would have really been a nightmare, especially with the pond. Whether the pond was full or not, trying to put a ladder in here and getting it level would have just been a nightmare and probably a little dangerous. It would have sucked. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we got Blake over there, Greg's son, mm -hmm. painting the rest of the plywood. That should be dry by the time we get this up. So I think our goal today is to have the roof basically finished. Yeah, we'll do that. You think it's possible? I think it's possible. Show them what it looks like with the water in it, huh? So it's looking a little better. Mm -hmm. oh, not really in the camera. I don't know, this is a cool view though. The camera just doesn't do it justice. No. This is gonna be neat once the turf comes in over here. Yeah. And... Yeah, I bet you people were wondering what the hell this was gonna be. Mm -hmm. Shit, we just gave shoot, we just gave oh. it away. Gave away the surprise. Shit, I mean shoot. Shit, shoot. <laughs> Ninety percent of the truss is up. Sheeting the top of this right now—it's amazing, and we knew this was going to happen. But once we put the top on, how much it transformed the inside of our exhibit. I don't know what you want to call it. Our display. What are we calling this? Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So check it out. All, we got all the trusses. One sheet of plywood, and look at how dark it got in here. It's going to be really cool. So we've chosen lighting-wise not to go crazy with underwater lights in here, but actually come with directional lighting from some of the corners highlighting different areas. It's also going to be an awesome way for us to show off some of our colored lights and show people what a pond looks like at night. So of course we've got our waterfall lit up over there. We have some up lighting coming up from around the base of these trees. This one here, this one there. We should then put wavy marks all over everything. And then we've got some lighting up in this area here coming down, hitting like this stump, hitting like the deck area over here. And then this whole area, like we said before, is gonna be all turf. Isn't it awesome when Chris continues to do that drill while I'm recording? Let's go up there and see hi to Chris. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get this roof on. Oh, nice. I know, right? Sorry. Hey, check this out. You can see all the cool slate work from up above here, which you'll be able to see from those big windows down there. The shape of the pond looks absolutely incredible from up here, which is also an excellent view from that window down there. Wow. We are down to our very last piece for... Oh. I thought Brian was done cutting it. Apparently not. Let's see what he's doing over here. So you can see we've got our ceiling in. I'm actually standing on top of it. How you doing down there, Hellcat? Three and a half, coming up. That's right, not a scratch on it. Good, so this is our last piece for up in here. We're gonna leave this until we get a little wall that's framed between here and then the tree open, and then we'll run our joists, our supports back over there. So we just have this little strip left. May not be sexy, but it sure <laughs> is essential. What, my facial hair? That, well, that too. <laughs> Chris, I couldn't handle it anymore and I wanted to just turn something on. So we can turn this on. This three inch line feeds all of the, we're calling them the aqua blocks, our mm -hmm. under, under pond circulation system. Yep. Right, so water's gonna bubble up from, we don't really know where. We put all that concrete cloth over the top of it, leaving mm -hmm. a few areas open, but this will be like a giant bottom jet just circulating stuff from the bottom. So we come over here, follow me to the end of this cord. Ready? Yes. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Double check everything. That's yep. that's smart. Smart. Glued. How's, how's your union? Yep. There Glued you go. Good. Better hurry up. The batteries. The batteries gonna die. And I'm not gonna catch this magic right here. Uh, this electric isn't quite the code, but I heard something. Oh oh oh! Bubbles. We Where? got bubbles. Where? Kind of nervous. Bubbles here. Yep. There's a ton. Look at all the. You should see the water flowing out here. This is bonus. Bonus. Look at that. Oh, look at the jets. So that would be a dead area yeah. in a lot of ponds, but not in this pond. Oh, bubbles are coming faster. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if you're as excited as me, but like, whoa. <laughs> All right, guys, it is Monday, and we're still in this fish retailing store over here. We're back at it. If you can see here, our windows have finally come in. We're gonna get the hard window out of the way first, but we've been putting up skins and, and still moving along. I'll kind of show you a progress update. Skins are in. 
See, that's where the skimmer box is. We got our second layer up in there. That's a shelf for the monitor. We'll actually have tree limbs that kind of bring you out over to that shelf. We're working on finishing this off in here, kind of giving this cave look through this window. The glass is in for this one, this one. The siding we're gonna put up in here is gonna be the same as the stuff over there. And then we've got this window in going here. So we've got our laser set up, so we got a nice straight line. And Chris is marking out the notch that this piece of glass is gonna fit into. So it'll actually slide down in between the little joint in the rock here. And then the thought is we're gonna cut a channel in here eight feet high, go up, slide it into that channel, and then we'll have a header across the top where this siding can go in. I think it sounds a whole lot simpler than it's gonna be. Your thoughts, Hanson? This is not gonna be a walk in the park, <laughs> for sure. I wanted you to say something totally different. Like, <laughs> I got this, no. would have been way better. <laughs> like, remind everybody why we're putting the piece of glass in again. The piece of glass is to protect the monitor from Woody and Woody from the monitor. If they were in the same enclosure together, uh, apparently they wouldn't. Cross pollination. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we're cross pollination. Alligator snapping monitor. You know, yep, no, nope. we can't have that on our hands. We don't want to come in here one day and find bits and pieces of either one of them. So we're going to separate them because they can't uh, cohabitate apparently. Yeah, this is going to Take some time and going to be a challenge, but we're gonna do it and do it right. So we have these jets down in here. And so we've got about 2,000 gallons of water coming through this area. And to allow the water to pass from here to there, we had them put these holes in the glass, which should allow water to move across the surface relatively easy. And we set them, we hopefully just below the water level to kind of give some top circulation there. All right, I am like a kid in a candy store waiting for these guys to finish. This has been the project that has gone on forever with all of our travels and everything else, but every day I get back here and when I'm in town and I check this out, and it is so fun to see this. These guys are true artists, and this is a one-off project if I've ever seen one. Look at that, the first piece of glass is officially gonna be in here in a minute. Um, the glass can definitely go that way a little. All business is, is solving problems. You created this problem, Woodstock! Yeah, by asking for it. Hey, maybe, maybe stop filming in case it shatters. <laughs> no, that's why I wanna keep filming. <laughs> If this is Pond Stars, this is where they would go to oh, commercial. Exactly. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and the first window is officially in, right boys? Woo! Good work. How many more to go, Brian? Uh, one, two, three more. But the other one should be easy. I feel like I'm looking through the window of my soul right now. <laughs> he, means, he means it's future. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in there. <laughs> I was surprised how easy it was to cut through the tree. You took that big ass grinder and and went through it like butter. And then framing it out actually went pretty smooth. And then we got the header in, we got some of the other joists run. Uh, we've got three more joists to go in before we can finish the roof. Mm -hmm. I think once the branches and the roof are on, there's no reason we can't start filling this thing. Every time I feel like we're like we're so close, but mm -hmm. we've been saying we're so close for a while. We yes. actually have a lot of work to do. This is a big gerbil cage, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, nice if any of you are out there, ever want one of these, don't call us. Oh, mm -hmm. just, kidding. just kidding, I think we'd love to do this now. Yeah. It's gonna be expensive though. Yes. Just know it's gonna be very, very, very expensive. Hey Chris, hey. show them these skins really quick. I think it's impressive how flexible they are. So look at how thick it looks from the outside. And then if we look at the thickness of it, it's almost like rhino lining for a truck. Yeah. But with cool texture. We're just gonna end up pushing that all the way up in there. Yep. Like that, we screw it in, and then this area here, there's like an epoxy type stuff where we can blend these together and color them. We're gonna do that there, this here, and then this ugly part actually gets hidden by the frame of the window, so mm -hmm. you'll never see it. So this side was the, look way more like a cave, obviously this side too, and you can see the way we, this. yeah, we rolled this down, and then right in there, we'll have to do the epoxy stuff where they kind of meet together. This is definitely my favorite view. Why is it your favorite view? Explain think, to the viewers out there why it's your favorite view. Why is it not your favorite view is the question. It's just great when the water level gets all the way up into here, and just I think the combination of you know the big tree here, another tree in the background. Once we start getting the limbs in, which are going in today, the height of the rocks, it just gives a lot of depth. I could care less if anything even wants to live in here. <laughs> I would. It's just really cool. All right, 
boys and girls. Things are moving right along. I see Chris up on top there. We've basically finished the windows. We've got a bunch of the branches up, so I wanted to show you kind of that stuff. We're working on final touches. Got a lot of our trim finished, and um, now we're working on getting the lights. So everything's basically buttoned up interior, except for the lights. We are gonna finish the lights today and show you what that looks like with them on before we go today. That is our goal. We are 100% gonna finish that, but let me show you where we're at so far. So the windows are in, they're looking awesome. Still not sure if we're just gonna leave the timbers down there. I almost kinda like doing like maybe a stone veneer, maybe next year at this point. You can see our other windows are in. They look great. Come over here, we got this big window in. You can see my ladder in there. I'm working on some lights. We have one single spotlight in there, just so we can see. So the idea is from inside, this whole thing can be lit up with our underwater lights. So I think we hit our deadline today. The goal was to get our lights hooked up. That was where we were gonna wrap today. What are you doing, you working with the lights over there? Ready. I'm ready. And I'm ready too. Oh, nice. <laughs> I guess go for it now that he's here. Whoa! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, I love that! Isn't that cool? Oh my that gosh, I can't wait till the water's flowing there. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. baby. LED color changing light. This That's is cool. No, this is beyond cool. This is Greg's Turtletopia. That's awesome. This is gonna be so, so, you know how many kids are gonna just love this? Oh my gosh, and then with a 24 hour underwater video going, you guys did spectacular. Every time I come back here, there's something new. Huh? Nice. Yeah. Literally the light is at the end of the tunnel now, right? Yes. I actually like that we didn't match the height up there. Mm -hmm. Just to create some different heights and textures and, and I like that we're gonna do this out of metal to kind of tie all that back together. Yeah. We're getting super, super close. Feels good. I hope this uh, lizard knows what we've done for him. Something tells me he might. <laughs> I don't know what tells me, but something's telling me. <laughs> so what Brian's doing right now is just going through and working on covering up the screw holes, uh, or the screws, which is the hardware that we use to attach these fake rock skins to the timber framing, putting some clear silicone down, and then we were shipped this colored dust substance. So he's got a mixture of brown and black, and he's just kind of going through over the top of that silicone with a paintbrush, which I thought was interesting, and just kind of dusting it. As that silicone dries, it's gonna hold that dust in place, and it's going to look very natural because it's not pressed or rolled on. It's just very, very organic. It's pretty easy. Like, I thought we were gonna have to mix like this, like, um, like a compound or something. Yeah, like it was gonna turn into some kind of compound or concrete. But the key with the silicone is to try to leave it with some texture. Like, if you smooth it, it'll look shiny and flat, which yeah. doesn't blend with the texture of any of the rocks. So there's not really a right or a wrong way. You just kind of want it to be sloppy and then just kind of dust it around. All right guys, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. For the most part, the most part, we're finished. So, here it is. Yes, 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 it definitely needs some polishing. Of course, we've got the big window that's gonna come in here so we can see those fish all the way through to the end. I wanna see some furniture up in here just to enhance that shopping experience. We obviously have a countertop that's gonna go all the way around this. I think we're gonna get rid of maybe this wood on here or redo it. I definitely don't wanna see this stone just doesn't go with anything, so I think we're gonna replace that. We've gotta get all of the individual nets for these, and obviously each one of these things filled with fish. Right now, we just have a few guys in here kinda of acclimating the system, getting it ready. Wanna figure out how to hide that wall still. But we've gotta do this quick. We've only got a couple weeks left before uh, everything's opened back up. We need nets for all of these larger containers here. Pictures of all of our fish that hopefully we get plastered up on that wall over there. Doors need to go in here. And a giant door needs to go in over here, which Ed is working on. We're looking to do just big, big barn doors. Really rustic. Be able to slide those open and close. A closet that's organized. All of this stuff off the ground. This little area and here we'll have kind of a wood floor this stays concrete we'll get tape up off the ground that kind of stuff get our fish bagging station all set up obviously some retail stuff gonna be happening on these shelves that we made this thing's finished the only thing left we have to do in this space is actually introduce the animals which um, I can't wait to show you so we've got 
our big Asian water monitor going in there. We've got to get some of his heating elements set up. Woody's actually already in here. See him? <laughs> He's in there. So we'll definitely get a light probably up there shining down so people can see him. You can see we put in this piece of glass that keeps people from being able to reach over and touch Woody. We've got a ton of turtles we have to introduce into here. And one last thing I wanted to show you in this spot was the can lighting. So this is kind of our nighttime mode. We have the controller so we can turn lights on red disco right my favorite color if I had to choose a color would be this color in here I kind of like this like bluish tint right in there right where the blue meets the green but I still like to go back to white I do know that it's the only colored lights on the market that actually can go back to white so that's cool you can also change the intensity of the light lighter darker so this will be a really really cool element and then if I want to we have the electricians come out here remember Chris kind of working on the can lights check this out boom light that whole thing up which will be great for viewing some of this stuff during the day it really cuts off on the glare that the Sun makes which is cool I love our Asian water monitor to kind of live in this spot most of the time and then we got to figure out a way for him to get like up onto these shelves that we've created for him so I can't wait to show you guys everything when it's finished 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 I know it's been an epically long time it feels like an epically long time anyways um, you guys have been super patient I love all the comments tell me what your favorite part is tell me what you're looking most forward to seeing during the completion for me I know it's just gonna be people using the space so thanks again hit like leave a comment make sure if you haven't subscribed you already subscribe subscribe tell all your friends and uh, we'll keep doing this till next time bye Thank you